Well, over the past 24 months, a few thousand workers have lost their jobs, be it due to company closure or other reasons. As one international labor standards specialist reinforces, there are clear stipulations that countries ought to follow regarding the termination process. Here again is Janine Brown. As much as your boss may want to fire you on the spot without prior communication, he or she can only legally do so under specific circumstances, and that does not include him or her not liking you. Unfortunately, people find themselves being asked illegally, and as a result of not being familiar with the law, many do not seek redress. As International Labor Standards Specialist Shingo Miyake explains, there are conventions of the International Labor Office, of which Trinidad and Tobago is a member state, that stipulates reasons a worker cannot be terminated. Workers must not be terminated because, uh, because uh, the worker has taken a maternity leave or taking sick leave, age, absence from work due to compulsory military service or other civic obligations. But he notes there are some valid reasons for termination. The valid reasons are capacity and conduct of the worker and operational requirements of the establishment of, of, of companies. Even then, certain steps must be taken prior. Warnings, in, uh, prior instruction, and more proactive assistance, if, especially if it's, the question is the lack of uh, his or her skills. Responding to a question as to whether the abuse of sick days is a valid reason for termination, Mr. Miyaki says that there are no ILO conventions on this matter, and thus this is left to the discretion of the employer. So in case you're thinking of calling in sick at the end of the long weekend, again, think, what would your boss do? Janine Brown, C News.